which is like a Mayan spinach. So 20 pesos for two bags of the chaya. And my intention was originally just to put this on some toast with some cream cheese and munch away. Luckily, I looked up whether it's healthier to cook or eat it raw because like spinach, you can eat it raw, but it's healthier cooked. And turns out this bad boy can be considered poisonous if you eat it raw. So you have to cook it for at least three to five minutes. So yeah, good random tip for everyone to know. So we're now cooking it with our breakfast meat. multiple seeds apparently. Okay, if you cut it the other direction, it creates kind of this star shape. I don't know how to describe it, but I find it yummy. It's sweet. I would loosely put it in the plum category, but it's not a plum, exactly. I want all of my necessities to be within walking distance. It's really annoying when I have to go into multiple Ubers a day just to get a bunch of chores done. I would much rather just be able to grab my bag, grab whatever, and just go out the door, go to the location, get the job done, and come home without having to wait on an Uber or worry about getting a ride. To that effect, I recently discovered Veterinarias Humanimals. It is a chain, but I've got one within walking distance for Henry's grooming, as well as his nails and teeth. It costs 330 pesos, which might be slow slightly more expensive than Petco, but much cheaper considering that I don't have to take an Uber to get there. And an additional plus is Henry was not freaking out as soon as I dropped him off. It was a pleasant surprise when Henry happily walked into their arms and was happily waiting for his turn to get his haircut. One of the benefits of exploring wherever it is that you live in Mexico, as you're walking to, let's say the vet, you're gonna realize that there are some salons or cochinas economicas that also don't have websites and you would never have found them had you not been walking by. So shopping at Lucas de Galvez, you can see these Makesh beetles, which are bedazzled essentially with little gems to make them pretty. And you apparently attach them to your clothing as like a brooch. And the legend is that a Mayan princess long ago fell in love with somebody who she was not allowed to marry. And so being heartbroken, she went to a shaman and asked the shaman to help her. And the way he helped her was to turn her into a beetle that could be worn as a brooch on her lover's heart so that she could still be with him without being with him. So of course you can purchase these, but you're not allowed to cross any borders. So yes, you can buy these, but you can't take them across any borders because they are apparently protected in some way to where they have to stay physically in Mexico. Well, let me look at it. <laughs> Alex, let me just do it. Text and change. Can I just do it? I'll not give it.
you like your new haircut? The cherry. But I'm too. meal prep. So for about $8, that's $8 with the tip. This is pastor meat, it's half a kilo, and it comes with all of these different sauces, as well as, I think that's onion and cilantro if I'm not mistaken, salsa-ish container. We've got a little bit of rice, garlicky cream, it's the red and the green sauce, as well as the flour-based tortillas. All of this for about seven, eight dollars. So that meat will last me, we'll say three or four days, sometimes longer, but not very often. Mix it with eggs, I've got breakfast. Mix it with veggies and rice, mix it, you know, put it in the tortilla, don't put it in the tortilla, put it on a sandwich or some bread, or just add vegetables and potatoes and boom. Like that's how I meal prep. I really am not a huge fan of cooking. So if I can leave the flavorful stuff to the professionals and then I just add my choice of veggies and sometimes guys, I don't even cook the veggies. I just grab my veggies, chop it up and put it on the side. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really a 